A swollen river causing anxiety for folks along the banks of the Ohio. WLWT News 5's Richard Childs has our story tonight. It's almost peaceful down here this morning. Earl Stanfield has been shooting the river for years. He studied its ripples and waves through the lens. But this weekend's cresting Ohio changed his point of view. I personally don't think I've ever shot from right here because I normally park down there and shoot down there. As the river rises and falls, Earl sees a portrait in every ripple. You come down, I've come down hundreds of times to take pictures, and no, pit, no two pictures are ever the same. Downstream, Sarah Wardlow sees another view of the rising river. We always uh, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. Even after this temperamental river is crested, in every ripple, she sees worry and concern. We're just happy it didn't get in the basement because if it got in the basement, we got to move everything out of the basement, and that would be even more of a pain. A sunken swing set, a rushing reflection, a drifting log, all paint their own picture. And we just keep on watching to make sure it doesn't go, come up any higher and just live our normal day life and just keep on watching it. As a cresting river changes before our eyes. Seeing the river move fast like this, it makes me feel like spring's coming soon. Everything's flowing out, bringing in something new. With photojournalist Jason Sperry, Richard Childs, WLWT News 5. Now, the Ohio River officially reached flood stage of 53 feet last night. The National Weather Service has issued a flood warning for our area that r remains in effect until Monday evening.